What we did was we took the uh, overclock controller and put it in its little metal housing. Uh, it uh, just folds up, the display folds up, uh, rotates 90 degrees, and slides right into the front of the case here. And then you uh, uh, plug in a couple of cables here on the back, and uh, there's a two screws that hold it in place. And then we're going to slide it right in here to the top. And we're going to slide it into the top port in the uh, in the case. The, uh, the little case uh, placed in the in the in the uh, I mean the overclocker housing placed in, into the into the case here. And there's these these little latches here, and you just lift it up, and then you slide it in, and just just pops in really nicely. So it's aligned and you press this and it locks it in place. I fed the cables in first because they're pretty tight uh, and now I'll just route I'll route the cables in the back. One will go down this cable, this end goes to the um, uh, overclocker controller at the bottom of the motherboard and this cable will go into the uh, one of the SATA, SATA slots. SATA slots in the uh, power supply and then this will go into the overclocker controller at the bottom of the motherboard. Okay, you can see the uh, the uh, contr overclocking control panels installed. Now this the uh, carrier for it is only half size, so the little latches on the side don't uh, engage because it doesn't go all the way through. So I, had to, I ended up having to put a screw in it to keep it to keep it. Um, uh, um, in place, otherwise it just pushes in or pulls out. So what you do, what you do is you just slide it in. You can hear the the uh, latch engage, and then when you get to the right area, it just locks. And then you pull these little latches over here on the side to to release it. So it's it's pretty nice if you have a full size drive, but if you have a short one, then you're going to need to use screws. Okay, so now we've got. Um, we, I think we've got everything wired in. Uh, it's taken a while, but I think we're almost done, or maybe done. So we'll, the last thing we put in were the ten temperature probes. Okay, so um, down here at the bottom is channel sensor channel one. Sensor channel one, and that's connected to there. It's routed around the back, and it comes out right here. So it's monitoring the temperature right around the out, you know, I guess the um, connector end of the GPU. Um, the other sensor is sensor number two is up here, just right in front of the white cable, and that's routed around and sits on top of the um, hard disk drive right up here and then the sensor number three is when you can't see it it's hidden by the GPU but it's right by the fan connector and the uh, motherboard connector and that's routed uh, right through here and is on the back end of the GPU. I'm not really sure where to put these but uh, that's my first experiment with uh, seeing where, what the temperatures are. So I've got temperature of the hard drive, temperature of the GPU, and then temperature of the back end of the, of the chassis. Um, the, um, all the power cables are all in. All the connectors are in. So we're just going to have to go through and just double check. I've got everything connected right and all the polarities right. Um, I don't know if I said anything, but I put the um, the uh, the uh, Blu-ray player on uh, SATA port 10, the um, TV, the hard disk drive is on port 3, and the the uh, uh, solid state drive is on port 1. So I can add stuff, and hopefully things don't move around in Windows 8. I'm not too sure how it handles that, but Windows XP like to move things around, so I can add things and keep the same boundaries, perhaps. Okay, so this is the the back side of the motherboard. 
can see how the cables and cables are routed. Top the scope power cables to the top of the the um, motherboard uh, fan uh, the uh, fan tech uh, CPU cooler power cables. These are the red ones are the power cables for the um, uh, GPU. Um, you've got your uh, USB 2, 3, and high definition audio cables. Uh, motherboard power, this is the big heavy one. Solder cable for the, um, uh, a solder power cable for the solid state drive. Uh, a solder data cable here. Uh, you've got the power cables for the um, hard disk there. And um, that's, you have uh, all the um, power, I mean, all the um, connections to the front panel uh, coming through here. So it's, uh, might be a little neater, but uh, that's what we've got so far.